Rainforest Food Chains by Bobby Kalman and Molly Aloian introduces the food chains that exist in the rainforest, describing the three levels of a chain. What are rainforests? Rainforests are dense forests that contain many tall trees. Rainforests receive at least 100 inches or 254 centimeters of rain each year. Two types. There are two main types of rainforests, temperate rainforests and tropical rainforests. Temperate rainforests are found in areas of the world that have hot summers and cold winters. Tropical rainforests are found near the equator where the weather is warm year round. The equator is an imaginary line around the center of Earth. And this caption says, in tropical rainforests, it rains almost every day. Around the world, there are tropical rainforests in Central America, South America, Africa, Southeast Asia, and Australia. This book is about food chains in the tropical rainforest of Southeast Asia. It says plenty of life, millions of species or types of plants and animals live in tropical rainforests. Plants and animals thrive or grow well in the hot, wet climate. Climate is the long-term weather conditions in an area. Climate includes temperature, rainfall, and wind. A lot of rain and sunshine cause many plants to grow. The plants provide food for many animals. Here we have a map. It says the dark green areas on this map show the locations of tropical rainforests on Earth. Tropical rainforests are near the equator. About one quarter of the world's tropical rainforests are found in Southeast Asia. The temperatures in these rainforests are usually between 68 degrees Fahrenheit and 98 degrees Fahrenheit, which is between 20 to 35 degrees Celsius. Layers of life. Like all forests, tropical rainforests are divided into four main layers. Different plants and animals live in each layer. So at the top, you have the emergent layer. The first layer of a rainforest is called the emergent layer. The emergent layer is made up of the tops of tall trees. Some trees are over 250 feet tall, so they receive a lot of sunlight. Birds and bats live in this layer. The second layer of a rainforest is called the canopy. The canopy is made up of the tops of shorter trees, most of which are between 10 and 40 feet tall. Many animals live in the can canopy because there is plenty of food there. The trees in the canopy also receive a lot of sunlight. Understory. The third layer is called the understory. This layer is made up of shorter trees, vines, and other plants. It is home to many animals. The emergent and canopy layers cover much of the understory. So this layer receives little sunlight. The fourth layer is called the forest floor. This layer is at the bottom of a rainforest. It is always dark and shaded. Few plants grow on the forest floor, but many animals live there. Tree protection. The treetops in the canopy are thick and grow close together. They protect the understory and forest floor from the hot sun. The shade from the canopy keeps the soil or upper layer of earth on the forest floor from becoming too dry. 
The canopy also shields the understory and forest floor from heavy rains and strong winds. These weather conditions can damage the plants that live in the lower layers. And this caption says, through gaps in the canopy, a little sunlight reaches the understory. What is a food chain? There are many living things in tropical rainforests. Plants and animals are living things. Plants and animals need food, water, air, and sunlight to stay alive. Energy in food. Food contains nutrients. Plants and animals need nutrients to grow and stay healthy. They get nutrients from food. Plants and animals also get energy from food. Plants need energy to grow. Animals need energy to breathe, to grow, to move from place to place, and to find food. The caption says, this orangutan needs water to stay alive. And below, it says this thorny phasmid is getting nutrients from the plant it is eating. The sun's energy. Plants are the only living thing that can make their own food. To make food, plants use energy from the sun. Animals must eat. Animals cannot make food the way plants can. Animals must eat food to get nutrients and energy. Different animals eat different foods. Some animals eat plants. Others eat animals. Some animals eat both plants and animals. When animals eat other living things, food chains are formed. Look at the diagram on the right to see how a food chain works. At the top, it says using energy. Green plants trap the sun's energy and use it to make food. They use some of the energy as food and store the rest. When an animal, such as an insect, eats a plant, it gets the energy that was stored in the plant. The insect does not get as much of the sun's energy as the plant received. When a frog eats an insect, Energy is passed to the frog through the insect. The frog gets less of the sun's energy than the amount the insect receives. Levels in a food chain. Every food chain has three levels. Plants make up the first level. Animals that eat plants make up the second level. Animals that eat other animals make up the third level. Plants make food. Plants are primary producers. They are the primary or first living things in a food chain. They produce or make food for themselves. All plants store the food they do not use as energy. Eating plants. The second level of a food chain is made up of herbivores. Herbivores are animals that eat plants. They are also called primary consumers because they are the first living things in a food chain to consume or eat food. When they eat plants, herbivores receive some of the energy stored in plants. Eating meat. The third level of a food chain is made up of carnivores or animals that eat other animals. Carnivores are also called secondary consumers. They are the second group of living things in a food chain that eat food to get energy. Secondary consumers receive only small amounts of the sun's energy from their food. The energy pyramid. The movement of energy through a food chain is shown in this energy pyramid. There are many plants at the first level of a food chain. So the first level of the energy pyramid is wide. The second level is narrower than the first because there are fewer herbivores than there are plants. The top level of the pyramid is the narrowest because there are fewer carnivores than there are herbivores in a food chain. 
Rainforest herbivores. There is plenty of food in rainforests for plant eating animals. Different rainforest herbivores eat different foods. Some eat leaves, fruits, and flowers. Others eat branches, bark, and twigs. Hefty herbivores. Some herbivores are small, whereas others are large. The Sumatran rhinoceros is a huge rainforest herbivore. It can weigh between 1,000 and 2,000 pounds. It eats branches, twigs, bark, leaves, and fruit. An adult Sumatran rhinoceros can eat up to 110 pounds of food in one day. And the caption says, the Sumatran rhinoceros lives only in the rainforest of Sumatra. Sumatra is an island in Indonesia. Plant eater pollination. Some rainforest bats, birds, and insects feed on nectar and pollen. Nectar is a sweet liquid found in flowers. Pollen is a yellow, powdery substance that plants make. Plants need pollen from other plants of the same species in order to make seeds. Bats, birds, and insects help spread pollen from plant to plant. Moving pollen from one plant to another is called pollination. When animals land on flowers to drink nectar or eat pollen, some of the pollen in the flower rubs off on their bodies. The animals carry the pollen to the next flowers on which they land, and pollination takes place. After pollination occurs, the plants make seeds, which may grow into new plants. And the caption says, as this butterfly drinks nectar from a flower, pollen rubs onto its body. The butterfly carries the pollen to the next flower on which it lands. Rainforest carnivores. Most rainforest carnivores are predators. Predators are animals that hunt and eat other animals. The animals that predators hunt are called prey. Important predators. Predators are necessary in food chains for two reasons. First, rainforest predators help keep the populations of other animals from growing too large. If too many herbivores lived in rainforests, they would eat too many plants. Predators also keep the populations of animals healthy by hunting weak, old, and sick animals. When predators remove these animals from food chains, strong and healthy animals have more food to eat. It says the gavial above is a rainforest predator. It eats fish. Second and third. A predator is a secondary consumer when it eats an herbivore. For example, a clouded leopard is a secondary consumer when it eats a deer, which is an herbivore. When a predator hunts and eats another carnivore, the predator is a tertiary consumer. The word tertiary means third. Tertiary consumers are the third group of animals in a food chain that must eat to get energy. Life at the top. Most rainforest animals have predators, but no other animal hunts clouded leopards. Clouded leopards are the apex or top predators in Southeast Asian rainforests. They hunt and eat many animals, including deer, monkey, wild pigs, goats, frogs, and lizards. A clouded leopard often hides in trees so it can ambush its prey. To ambush means to attack by surprise.